Hello everyone, it's me, Ember, and in this video, I will be explaining how to get Magu. Now, because this legendary takes a little bit more work to get than others, I have not actually started recording as one spawns, so there will be a little bit of me actually waiting for one to spawn. Uh, but first, what you want to do is you're going to want to activate the portals, so that way you are able to enter the torn dimension. To do that, you're going to head over here to Whistleboro Cave and go back down to the lab as I have many times before. Okay, so just travel through here until you reach the back here and you are going to go down into this area right here. Boom. Okay. Now, you want to make your way through here. This is kind of a maze, so make sure that you're taking the same path that I am unless I'm dumb and like kind of accidentally take the wrong one and get myself lost, it's fine. You're going to go straight here. You want to go to the room that is like the sort of office area that connects to the catacombs first. So all the way through here. Take a right. Take a right again. Eventually I think I'm going to draw a map out for this place. Okay, then you go here, but instead of going to the catacombs, you're going to go over here to this other room that's kind of next to it. And you're going to make a right, because right is always the right way to go, right? No, not necessarily. Um, you could just be like me and be getting lost. Okay, then you're just going to keep going straight until you get to this door, and you're going to enter this room right over here. And now, you could pick that up if you're trying to build watch bots, but now you can turn on this. Okay, then you can activate that. And that will open up the portals of the torn dimension. You can see the reactor there and you can get another thing there. Uh, you can also mess with the ventilation here. Uh, I want to turn it back off now. I was just wanting to earn the title. I want to turn this, can I turn this off? May I turn this off? Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. I'll just leave it on, that's fine. Because then whenever I do how to get fired on, I could show people how to turn the ventilation off. Okay, now you're going to want to make your way back out of here. Um, I'm not very good at this. That's fine. Okay, just keep going straight. Kind of like you did to get in here. Uh, then I need to go this way. I think. Yeah, okay. See, I sort of know this place. You're just going to want to exit again. Actually, you could exit through the catacombs. That's actually probably a better idea because I'm better at that. Okay, so if you want to exit through the catacombs, you can go through here, through this uh, blue room. And the catacombs actually lead you right underneath the desert. So you can go through here. And this is actually a good way to go ahead and pick up the R coin if you don't already have it. Because the R coin will be found right here. So if you still need that, it's right there. Okay, but I do have an episode entirely dedicated to our coin. It's pretty much just a shorter version of what this episode is now. Oh, oof. Okay, you could die. That's fine. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go the same place anyway because I am a Mudstorm. I'm just not good at doing parkour stuff with uh, Fairville. Okay. Now, if you see, like, these sort of areas, that is a place where a portal can potentially spawn. There are a few locations, one of them, which I think is the easiest one to remember, is right there in the desert. There's another one over there in the jungle. Um, there's another one when you go up here, kind of where the clockwork tower is. You just go past the water mill and then wrap around here. Doo -doo. All the way over here. And then, yeah, okay, so this portal is active, and then if you see these spots, you can jump right into it. And it will take you to the Torn Dimension. Now the Torn Dimension is pretty cool. Uh, there's less gravity here. And also, it will be where Magu spawns. Um, as both like where it appears and where you actually spawn as Magu. And then there will be other portals kind of around that will allow you to go to different areas. There's also the Orb of Experience here. And that will allow you to level up faster. That said, 
if there are like multiple people there, the experience multiplier will go down. I kind of thought Vanessa was here, but I guess she's not. But yeah, if you're chilling here, then you'll level up faster. So it's kind of not too bad to be waiting for Magu. But that's just what I'm going to be doing for a bit. I'll just be sitting here with my Fairville and waiting for Magu. Whenever it appears, I will start recording again. Oh, Umbris spawns. Okay, great. In the video, I'm trying to make about Magu. If there are more people than two legendaries to spawn at once. And I love Umbris, but like I'm trying to make a Magu video. Come on. Hey, I'll pause and I'll be back when one of them spawns. Okay guys, we are back. It took like way more time than anyone ever expected it to. But the Magu finally spawned here. Like seriously, I got... Um, oh my gosh, I completely forgot the name of the dude I was using. But he's level 100 now and my rib bomb is also almost level 100. But finally we have Magu. So if you wait long enough and are patient enough, look at this. That's when the first Umbra spawned, and then a second one spawned after that, and then two Atlanta Titans. Now finally, after five spawns, we got our Magu. So once you unlock Magu, you can go over here, and he will then be in your monster selection screen all the way here at the bottom. So you can spawn as him. Will be level 10 when you start and you will immediately be here in the torn dimension which is pretty cool it's useful if you want to get to other places in the map pretty quickly using the portals and stuff it's also good if you want to like uh train up your magu he has teleport so it does make things a lot easier you do have to kind of make sure that wherever you're teleporting to is in reach though oh no we're just gonna do that anyway um, if you need to figure out how to unlock any of the other monsters in this game, I have videos for how to unlock all of them on my channel, and you can find it there. Anyway, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!